According to this online article, just dressing up like a lawyer doesn't qualify you to be one. Pfft, what do they know? <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. Uh, Morris here. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Morris, why the blue shirt, red tie, you're dressed up like an attorney Edgar J. Snyder wannabe? Well, there's a reason for that. We're too poor to afford a lawyer. So I figured I should come on and pretend to be one. Give you a few disclaimers for this video because we really did like Adventuria, but we need to make a couple things clear. First off, our review is purely our own and honest. We were not compensated in any way by Adventuria or Ulysses Spiel uh, to review their game for them. And if we ever are compensated for any of the reviews we offer, we'll let you know because that's the kind of podcast we want to run. Second off, there are some really dirty jokes in this one. So just wanted to make sure you're aware of that, especially since Adventuria is a new card game. You might have come across this video trying to figure out what it's like, uh, get a feel for it. And if you weren't braced for dirty jokes, we just want you to know that they're in there and they're not a representation of Adventuria or Ulysses Spiel. They're just us as gamers making dirty jokes because we think they're humorous. Oh, so now we've got that out of the way, and uh, I may as well also mention that uh, in our intro I made a new one, and it features some dye that were made by Crystal Cast. Uh, Origins 2017, they were given out free at the show, uh, as well as a mat that I purchased from Elderwood Academy. Uh, we were not specially compensated in any way to feature those products in our podcast. They just looked really nice, so I figured I'd incorporate them into the intro. All right. So now that we've got all that cleared up, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. to disembark on your first adventure. I do believe we are. All right. By the beard of my bearded-footed ancestors. <laughs> bearded Perrenfurten, in late autumn of 1039 BF, your voyage has led you to Perrenfurten, the capital of the province of Tobrian. To your great dissatisfaction, the northern town turns out to be little more than a small settlement with not much to offer. This is no wonder, as the city's only purpose is to serve the Tobrian Duke as provisional seat of government until the conquered lands of Tobrian have been recaptured from the treacherous demon worship worshippers. Bastards. This yeah. puts you into a tight spot as your money and supplies begin to run out. How are you going to make it through the winter in your privation? Uh, you are ready to accept any assignment that might come along. But mm. then, fortune favors you again, and one of you receives a very special letter. Which of you is it? I'll take the letter. You take the letter? I'll take the letter. Is that everyone in agreement? That's fine, sure. All right. So you take the letter, and the re letter reads, My beloved, I am sorry that as your mother, I haven't sent you any messages lately. Since our falling out, a lot of things have changed in my life. In my late years, I finally decided to marry the Duke of Wildenstein. Your deceased father would probably not have objected to a man of high birth. I hope you agree. But with this good news comes also painful news. As my new husband died after only a few years from a mysterious sickness, I write you from this deathbed as he is without an heir and I have already reached the twilight of my life. I want to forget about all the bad things between us and ask you to hurry over here and claim his heritage before the greedy gentry or the warlords of the Shadowlands stake their claims. Signed, your loving mother. So, because you have read this letter, 
you realize that you are an heir to a great, great wealth. Oh. Oh. I believe you all should bow right about now. Thank you. No, no. There we go. He bowed. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> still, so, still off your heads. Heir of the sticks. <laughs> what, what is being the heir going to give you? Right Let's now, get... knowing my mother, I'm going to get a little cabin out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> it's going to probably be falling down and maybe a sick cow and half a goat. Wait a second. Wait a half second. a goat. This is, this is like a role-playing game. You want to think big. No, no, I'm... You're a, describing uh, what you're going to be inheriting. No, no, no. I, I think... I'm, I'm, sure I'm expecting mother my mother. I'm a Playboy log mansion. Yeah. <laughs> With fine elven women all over the place. Yes. <laughs> my, my Duke stepfather was the Hugh Hafner of the Dark Age world of Aventuria. Yeah. yeah. That's dead yeah. Dallas. Yeah. All right. There's thinking big. There's, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and to claim this reward, obviously, you have to go home, right? Yeah. Wait. Do I know where home is? I am hoping that's You absolutely know where home is. Oh, right. Wildenstein, wherever that is. Let's Wildenstein. Yes. Oh. Wildenstein. Is that Wolfenstein? Oh, Wolfenstein. Shit. We gotta shit. go to Another Castle quarter. Wolfenstein. <laughs> Another quarter. Yeah, I guess you're the hair. <laughs> you're the Ubisoft? You're the, <laughs> the hair. hair Hemler. The hair Hemler. <laughs> Before you begin your journey, you visit the archives and the temples and in the Council of Perenferten to find out more about the Wildenstein barony. Maybe this information can be of help to you later on. But you know I have to behead. Absolutely. Hey, sometimes you gotta put a few motherfuckers up against the wall. Just saying. <laughs> so here's You're the... gonna be a great duke. <laughs> <laughs> here's the first time that you get to roll dice. Yeah. So each hero has to make a knowledge roll. Knowledge roll. That's the 20. So, full con- enclosure. Yeah. Full disclosure, rather. Uh, a critical success, which is a one, will make you very well prepared, and you can take two fate points. If you just succeed, you find some useful information, and you get one fate point. If you fail, there's no effect. If you critically fail, you collect misleading information, and you remove one fate point from the middle of the table until the end of this adventure. Wow, that's hard. What I rolled on. You got a nine, which, was it knowledge? You're under. Okay. So that is a so success. How about yeah. you? I got an 11. Is that a success? Knowledge. Mm. Knowledge, knowledge. 10. Damn it. <laughs> so that is a failure. How about you? Did you succeed? I did not. Failure. Failure. All right. The only one who succeeded in knowing it's stuff. the wizardy guy. Is the wizardy guy. Imagine yep. it. The wizardy guy has also awfully large boobs. I normally roll super <laughs> low, so I don't understand why this game That's is treating me this way. I have awfully large boobs. <laughs> because it involves dice. That's, but they're called yeah. pecs. <laughs> Alright, call them what you I want. wish. I wish, but yeah. You call them what you want, where well, I'm still motorboating them later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this isn't getting monetized. <laughs> <laughs> so one day later... You pack your belongings, saddle your horses, and ride southwards to the Wildenstein Barony, eagerly awaiting the heritage. Wildenstein. Despite unpleasant weather, you make good progress in the country road and spend the nights in cozy inns and farmsteads, or friendly peasants whose lands were already freed by the forces of the Middle Realm. You're you welcome. hardly meet anyone in the desert, deserted lands. Only a swarm of crows seems to be following you around. Uh-oh. You hey, are surprised guy, by an approaching thunderstorm and have to build a provisional shelter to spend the night. Oh, Uh-oh. great. My survival of eight. Yep. So go ahead and roll survival. Rolls. What do I have for survival, bro? Uh, this is 214. Come nine. on, roll low. Five. Ha! Ah, the wizard builds a tent, and then all the rest of us have to sit outside of it. Yeah, pretty so, much. I'm still rolling badly. On a one, a critical success, you would have built a great shelter. For if everybody. another hero's survival skill fails, however, you may allow her to re-roll the dice. Uh, on a just a success, you are doing well in the wilderness and get a proper amount of sleep. So you've gotten a proper amount of sleep. Aha! Everyone who has failed... <laughs> you sleep in damp clothing and catch a cold. You oh, lose my. two life points. So life points, you all have That's 40 of them. Okay. okay. And for those of you who have failed this, you have taken your first damage in the form of two damage. 
Ah, oh, I'm still healthy so, as a horse. So like normally, a D40 would be good here. A D40 would be good in here. However, normally in our box set, uh, we have life counters, which are spinning uh, life counters that, with the numbers 1 through 40 on them and pictures of the hero that it goes with. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Uh, right now, we do not have those with us as this is a first look. Um, so we can use calculators or 2D20. Mike, you want a couple of Whatever. Mike doesn't need it because he's rolling well today. I remember mine, the numbers. You're a terrible person. I know, but I'm a great adventurer. <laughs> and as we deal with that, so, so uh, a critical failure would have made you get stuck in a mud hole, and the others would have had to make you know, uh, pull you out of it in an arduous task. And you would have lost five life points. Yeesh. And every other hero that helps you would have lost one. Oh, dude, that's brutal. That oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, thanks for helping me. Here's the staff. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to keep my health for him. All right. <laughs> it's like, we lost Billy in the mud. Well, Billy, I guess this is your home. We'll so visit. You, you failed, right? Yes. Yeah, All right, you too. have a calculator, Austin. Um, one day's ride before arriving a cast at Castle Wildenstein, you reach a ford leading through a wild river. You dismount to lead your horses through the water. An odd silence surrounds you. Uh-oh. If you'd like to, uh, everyone can make perceptions. I was going to say perceptions, probably the thing. And this is probably where I suck, so we'll see. Unless I roll good. You rolled a two, Mike? Oh, I rolled well. The wizard is whooping ass today. So on a critical success, which no one rolled once, right? No. no. It would have. You would have known. It's a trap. You it's react trap. with lightning fast reflexes and may draw one additional card into your hand at the beginning of the next combat. However, just succeeding means that you know it's a trap, but fortunately you see it, and fortunately you see it coming, and are well prepared for the danger ahead. Aha! I see it coming. Anyone who failed that perception roll, you are surprised, and at the start of next combat with one, you start the next combat with one hand, one hand card less than usual, which would be four or six for the air. Anyone who rolled a twenty, which I believe no one did. No, nope. uh, you would have been startled and lose your, lost your footing yeah. in the slippery stones, and you would have lost some life points. All right. After a while, a ragtag band of dirty figures breaks their cover and charges toward you. At this time, we uh, start some start. initiative. Almost. Okay. All right. That's so we're not point. rolling for initiative. Okay. We, that's all. You guys go first, always. Oh, okay. Cool. Always. Um, so you guys can all draw your first hand. Okay, which is where I put there's my deck. So I shuffle these first, probably, huh? You can if you want. Might as well, because I don't know what's... You can if you want. Can we... I'm not a very good shuffler, so I'll just wing it. All right. Okay. We start out with five, correct? Correct. One, two, three, four, five. Put that up there, like so. I don't know what I got. I don't know if it's upside down or what. All right. So the way that adventuring uh, combat works... All right. ...is that we have event cards. Oops, I just dropped them my die on the floor. And uh, I think. we've no, got a time face, scale. Whatever. Sure. Which just tells us oh my how difficult we're playing, playing right now. In your lap. I'm getting my crotch out of your face. There you go. Thank you, sir. Oh. So our time scale says that we start with eight rounds. Okay. Uh, and we're going to count down. And uh, at six, we're going to draw one event card. And at five, we're going to draw a new henchman card and place it to the right of the other opponents. Henchman number 23. So basically, they're getting reinforcements kind of thing? Absolutely. On four and two, we draw another event card. And at zero, the thunderstorm will rumble, rumble over your heads and discharge a lightning bolt. Right into the wizard. Right into the air. Oh. And the air must succeed a dodge roll or lose five life points. And this, so, this game is going to rely on you guys protecting the air. 
Okay. Save me. I am super glad I let him read that letter. <laughs> Save your king. Oh, I do. Save your duke. So, this is a medieval world. Dude. There's not really good records or anything. <laughs> Correct. And if we took just a bit longer, his mom's probably dead by the time we get there. And bam. So, Maybe. Who's to say who's the heir? Yeah. It right. might be Pulse me. It might him. be him. It, <laughs> might be, it might be only one of us left because we're going to murder each other for the heir. dental records on Rom that yeah, we... <laughs> it's probably not the guy we left in the sucking pool of mud five miles back. <laughs> Imagine no that. Oh crap, we gotta state, go back sir. for him. <laughs> You're my secretary of outhouses. How did I do that? You're piss boy. You get to hold the chamber pot. <laughs> Says the guy who we know now is gonna be struck by lightning. It's like, he was struck by lightning. We don't know what happened. Why does he also have nine arrows out of his back? <laughs> oh, lightning strike. <laughs> Does weird things. You know, magnetism and stuff. Just pulled my entire quiver into his back. <laughs> Good thing you're a dwarf. <laughs> and my You're not going to shoot it into my blood, apparently. And all five of my axes. <laughs> and all five of my axes. Anyways, so what do we do now? All right, so I am drawing... Oh, you're drawing your deck. Oh, you're doing an adventure? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. I am drawing some bandits that you have just uh, encountered. Beautiful. And you guys made sure to remember, uh, if you failed that perception roll... I did not fail it. (laughs) You uh, drew one less card than five or six, uh, or rather, uh, seven, if you are the heir, correct? Oh, I did. You only drew six. Oh, I only drew six. You would normally get seven. Oh, I got four. Well, I know. I mean, draw one to put back in the deck. I am well prepared. Can you read upside down? Mean highwayman. All right. Sad highwayman. Sad. Mellow highwayman. Hey guys. Hi highwayman. <laughs> Bandit thief and a <laughs> bukkake bedchamber maid. What is that middle one? Oh my. I don't think I drew the right card for that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's something like Hamish. I don't know. Box and Barmaid? What, what's the actual name of that one? <laughs> it's a Vulcanian Beachcomber. <laughs> Bukake <and> Barmaid. <laughs> Give me all your stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's too high level with rat. Run! Okay, yeah. Um, give me all your stuff. I just I see what you did there now. Right. <laughs> you see where I'm coming from. <laughs> and coming to. So too. we have some bandits here that you've encountered. And you can start fighting them. You've got two mean highways and two bandit thieves that are out for your money. Even though you're a bit poor right now. They're, they're still out for it. They're not smart. They're not <laughs> smart highwaymen. So, do we take turns in a rotation? or You guys all act first. You can decide who wants to act first. As your duke, I command you to go the hell away. All right, so the first they thing say, we do is... They no, give me your money. let them go first, because they... They don't know what they're doing. I'll give you my steel. Well, steel is worth something. Through your hearts. Oh my. I did not know. I assumed. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You know what assuming does. All right. Ass out of you. So, Air, are you going first? No. No. Not yet. Who's going first? I'll go first. All right. So you draw two cards at the beginning of your turn. Okay. Okay. And then you can choose zero, one, or two for your endurance. All right. So I'm gonna throw down. I do have a question. Yes. Two. With a discard one card, gain plus two. Is that two cards? That is two two endurance. endurance. The number in a circle is always endurance. Gotcha. All right. So I played two. Yes. And then can I play a card? Card. So uh, if there is a cost in the top left corner. You're gonna have to expend that amount of endurance to pull, to pull to, it out uh, and put it, it in your play. main hand. Yep. So you played what? Self control. Add two to my melee attack. So I'll actually bump my dwarf up to 16. See, wow, yeah. So you're going for a, a good route here. However, you didn't make it far enough. Oh, I didn't. And something really cool that you missed is that those bonuses line up perfectly. Oh, okay. Stick it underneath. That's better. Yep. Okay. 
festival. Alright. And now... So you've spent your two endurance. Do you have any zero-cost things? Oh, I only had one to attack with a knife. So... Quick question. I have a card that says lose one blood drop. That is life point. That is a life point to gain plus three. What is the three? Numbers and circles always mean endurance. Endurance. So I could blow this to get enough to do that. Yep. And then you'd have two left if you wanted it to play any other cards. However, uh, this card would cost one endurance. And I'll let uh, you retcon what you've done so far to uh, include that. Alright, so I could blow an endurance to play that to basically a four endurance. It's a four. You'd have two, which means you have two left. Okay. Blow on four, which means I could attack and do a different card. So I have I have this. It's a helmet with three cost, and it's I guess protection three. Yes. Would that add to my? How would that? It add? would not add to your dodge. However, anytime you are hit for damage, uh-huh. you'll take three you can less. Exhaust and then take three damage less than you would. Okay. To a minimum of zero. Can't heal for long. Yeah. Or. <laughs> Yeah, or I could I'd blow that knife on four. Okay, I think I'm going to hang on to this for right now. Alright. I blew two, so I'm just going to be done for right now. I got All right. extra strength, so... That sounds good. So what health points are we looking at on these guys? So, starting. these guys, the two oh, mean highways, guys. the two mean highwaymen, have uh, 12 life points each. Okay, so the top trick of their life. As well as Protection 3, uh, and the two Bandit Thieves have 14 life points, but Protection 1. So, less armor. Yes. And none of them can dodge. Oh, they can't dodge at all? Yep. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, quick question. Yes. Oh, okay, they can't dodge, but I still have to beat, in this case, my 16. Correct. Draw, yeah, if under they your had 16. a dodge, say of two, so what would that... They'd dodge, have to roll a one to beat it. If you succeed on okay. a dodge, then it does not negate uh, the attack. Half However, it. it does half the damage. Okay. Alrighty, go ahead. Alright. Who wants to go next? Mike, you want to go? I'll go. So, right. Tell me what I got there. Alright, you set one card down in front of you. What is... What? Let's see. Okay, so you had four in your hand. You have five in your hand. Right. So that must have been in the deck. Oh, I must have dropped it off. I must have dropped it. Okay. So, Mike, what... Alright, so starting your turn, you draw two. That is eight points. Oh, yeah. Draw two. So you have a quarter staff. Okay. You have... uh, Mike, is there somebody playing in this spot right here? You actually have... uh, Oh, because I was going to put my bag down. You have four quick cast items. Can you put it over with my bag? Invocation minor, and... The attack does seven magic. I believe that's the symbol. That's a pretty good one, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And it only costs two. Uh, for one point, suffocation, discard an opponent's endurance card. Then for four is your disintegrate again. Okay, I'm going to drop that into... Drop my disintegrate into my endurance pile, for one thing. All right, and then for zero cost, animatio. Uh, play this card before, an, before a melee or ranged attack. Give the relevant plus two. The relevant attribute becomes the same value as your magic attribute until the end of the turn. Oh, okay. So you're basically helping. That's not a bad one. If your magic is good. Yes. And then you have two more. Looks like a fire spell, Ignis Ferio. Uh, attack does d6 plus 5 for one point, which is nice. I'm holding on to that one. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's my big That's my big burner nature spell. Okay. <laughs> and then for three, that one is five. For three... Wrath of the Elements, for one point, it does a d6 plus three. It only really costs three to get out. Those are both good. Okay, I'm going to drop... Uh, and then you have a quarter staff that does a d6 plus one for only one I'm going to hold on to the quarter staff too, but... Uh, okay. I'm going to drop one of the quick ones. What was, what was the one after the quarter staff? Uh, Invocation Minor, for two points, does seven damage. Is that... Sorry, is that seven? Yep. 
That's okay. seven damage. That's that. For one point. point, discard an opponent's That's endurance a quick one, right? card. That's a quick one, though. No, animatio is a quick one. Okay. Where I'm thinking Which suffocation. One? Discard an opponent's endurance All card. Three of those are yeah, get points. rid of the suffocation one. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty. And then so you have two endurance. Uh, you could do invocation minor, does seven damage, or put down the quarter staff right now. I'm going to put down the quarter staff right now. Okay. Put down the quarter staff. Uh, that way gives me two attacks. We do a 25 percent turn, otherwise known. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> as tapping. Yes. The, the action formerly known we as tapping. We exhaust that card. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Exhaust is the proper turn. Alrighty. And so then that's your hand. Did you want to make an attack? I guess. Oh, do I have enough to point? Yes, to? you actually have one more endurance. Okay. Yeah. Well, do I have a basic magic attack? Correct. Uh, yes, you do. It does a d6. Your quarter staff does a d6 plus one, but you'd have to use your melee, which and is which six. Which is really crappy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get with the with the fire. My burninator spell, I think, is what it's called. All right, roll under a 14. You got a five. I so would like that die. <laughs> I need a d6. Okay. Somewhere. Go. Thank you. It's I'm gonna, oh, well, I suppose I'm determining TV. who I'm attacking then, huh? Uh, I'm yeah, did you want to... Highwayman with lower health but higher defense... Or Bandit Thief with lower defense. I'm going to hit one of the Bandit Thieves, I think. Okay. Because they steal my stuff. And I don't want them stealing my stuff. Two. So. So I did one point of damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, he did well, two. Well, because he's so got armor. That, that is one point of damage. Yeah, yeah he's okay. got one armor. Right. The other ones have three. Uh, so I wouldn't even have burnt through them. Okay. All right. Who's next? You or Morris? Okay. And then somebody else can grab Morris's camera. I'm doing it. All right, so two cards. You want to take a look at your cards? I've been glancing at them. I think I pretty much know okay. where I'm headed with this. Cast up for zero, score one hand to gain two endurance. I'm going to discard cast net and I'm going to cast armor. So when I tap it, I get protection three. Now, is that all the time or just for, for a tap? Uh, that for is, round. I mean, for oh, round sorry. once. Exhaust. Yes. Exhaust. Sorry, wizards. So, what did you do with discarding? Uh, I discarded, I played that for zero. Right. And then I discarded the cast net for the additional two endurance. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, you so, yeah, so that's both that. of those, and yeah. Right. And that will be your turn, right? Yep. That's my turn. Okay. I have things here that I like and I don't want to put away, but I think yeah, I'm going to... draw your two cards first. No. Oh, yeah, draw your two yeah, cards. Yeah, that nice. gives you some more options. Yeah, because you might be able to get rid of something in the, the, the D2 you draw rather than... Okay, uh... That one's probably not going to come into anything. Uh, no liturgical chance from these guys, I would think, so that works out. Okay. Feeling much better about that. Uh... Now these guys oh, that's a pretty cool flip. draw um, action cards, correct, for their movements? They do not. Okay. All of their that's movements important. are already on them. Okay. Do they have armor that I can steal with this card? I. It seems to be not so. Okay. So that is... I guess I'm just going to attack then... For them to have armor, you would have to have a card placed for them, wouldn't you? Correct. Okay. Now, if you have this 
are there any cards during Adventure Mode that actually have armor you can steal? Uh, I assume yes. Okay. Probably the bigger, we'll see. probably the bigger, gotcha. nastier monsters or something like that. You know what I mean? Well, I didn't know if there was something in the deck that you had to find. Yeah. That Do they? Like, yeah. Added armor. Like I played that. Go grab a thing of leather armor. That's what I was wondering. Typically, um, you'll have some cards that are a lot more useful in the dual mode than in the adventure mode, and some cards that will be a lot more useful in the adventure mode than the dual mode. And then they have the ones that give you the things that. For dual mode that says during adventure play this yes because i've ran into a couple of those already yep like this cast net this one you discard the card to reduce one opponent's number of attacks by two during his next turn <laughs> so all right that's actually a pretty nice one yeah, yeah but i really wanted the armor <laughs> yeah so, knowing that they don't have anything that I could steal off them, can I retcon that I throw this one out and keep this one? Sure. Okay. This is a game of learning it, so... Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, what I'm thinking here, I'll hold on to these, I'll tap the one, I'll attack, uh, so I should get one d6. One. So have you uh, rolled two attack yet? No. That's a so step you're going to roll a d20, okay. and then it's a melee attack, so you want 12 or under. Two. All right. So yeah, how much damage do you roll? All right, want me to roll this again, or just keep what I had from before? It's so. whatever you want. I would prefer to roll again, since that was a one. <laughs> All right. And that's nice. a six. All right. So which one of these did you attack? Uh, I think I'm going for one with a ranged weapon first. Okay, that would be the uh, Bandit Thieves. So that's what I attack. I attack one, I attack one, one of those. That's injured or not injured? The injured one. Sure, okay. That brings five damage to him. He's up to six damage of 14. And uh, I believe that's all of you, right? Yep. yep. So it's your guys' turn, I believe. Now your enemies fight. <laughs> Right. And uh, first mean highway man gets to roll a d20. He rolls a 15, which means he does nothing but look around and hesitate. Apparently, that magic user with the uh, burninator spell was very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> the second mean highway man, however, has some more initiative, and uh, you guys get to choose Who we which one he attacks. Probably not the Duke of Wannabe over there, so... Ah, uh, Duke Wannabe's wearing armor suddenly. I think if these guys walked out of the forest, and I jumped out and like, ah, and suddenly he just yanks from his shoes up this giant suit of armor on him, I'd just be like, ah. I'm the only one that has no damage on me, though, so I don't know if you want... I don't know. I'll take it. You'll take it? Because I am the mean, intimidating one. Final answer? Yep. All right. So, he does 1d6 plus 3 damage. And I get to dodge, So he correct? takes, he, you, he makes 5 damage to you, you may dodge, yes. I will try to dodge, you have a dodge my five. dodge sucks, I remember that. Uh, 20. Natural 20. So, oops, that's So, good. that will not succeed. No, that will not. So you take 5 points of damage. So okay. I take 5 damage. Yep. So I'm down to 35, oh no. So now we have a, the bandit thief, the no, one that is not injured currently. And he rolled a 17, which means he will flight. Uh, and there are no leaders here, so he's running away. Run away! Ha ha, loser. He saw his friend get, like... Burninated. Burninated? And, and he was like, and shot. um, no. So he has ran away. And our injured bandit thief... Rolled a natural one, which is a thievery. Uh, wow. Pick one of a random hero's permanent cards uh, of your choice. Uh, you all get to choose which hero is affected and which uh, card is taken onto the henchman. Uh, if the henchman dies, return this card to the hero's hand. So and this is the wounded guy. Of too, you isn't it? that have permanent cards out. Which is our magic user with the quarterstaff. 
and our uh, ranger with the leather armor. And I have the plus two attack thing. However, that is not a... Oh, yes, that is. That's a permanent card. I was thinking more equipment. So, yes, you three, uh, you all communally get to, get to decide which of the three of you uh, Mike, are your quarter staff. Us. I'm thinking. Fine with me. Alrighty. I'm going to burn an aid him again, so right. it doesn't matter. <laughs> so he steals your quarter staff. Son of a... Don't worry, I'm going to whack him. <clears throat> He ain't gonna, he ain't I gonna also live want to take a second to say I'm very pleased that our Mike has corrupted the Mike who's running the game for us to say burn and ain't all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe right. it's the son of Trogdor. You don't know. Don't judge him. <laughs> the burn is, and enter strikes again. All of your turns again. Right. You're going to go first. All right. One, two. Muscle. This is my pile, so I might as well just get ready. So, probably that. I don't remember where my other cards are. There's the two I pulled out. And I think this is my other ones. One, two, yes. Recording in 1080p eats up those cards fast. What's that? Recording in 1080p so eats up those cards fast. Oh, I'm my sure. character has a ranged attack, but no ranged weapon yet. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So you can draw a short bow. In well, your I've deck. got that. That's why I was wondering if I needed that before I could do the range attack. Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure. Because I thought I could just do it, you know, without it. All right, so okay, that's cool. Quick question. If I got both of these on my guy, and the. And we can you can it. stack them as long as they are different uh, armor slots. Yeah. So that's a head and those are legs. Okay. So yes. You could use both of them on the same attack even. For a total protection of seven. Now, is that which holy he attacks, crap? That's a lot. And I use both. Then it. Then if he attacks and he attacks, I don't have them. No, nope. correct, because it will be exhausted until the beginning of your next turn. Okay, so it has to be per attack. So it is pretty good to have them both out. And then yes. one other question: After we kill these guys and we keep going, am I still wearing armor the next time we get in scrap? No. Okay. Basically, you restart your hand, I think. So that right? goes into the discard pile? No, it goes back into your deck. Oh, so we, we, restart, we do the deck. So we reshuffle yeah. and start over again. At the end of each combat, you're going to shuffle and start over. Yep. Okay. And can we only make one attack per turn, or if I burn two or three, can I make multiple attacks? As much as I can. You can only make one because it says exhaust. So ah. one endurance to exhaust the card and attack. Okay. So it Exhaust and don't sue us. Until the beginning <laughs> of your next turn. They can't sue us because we don't have any, you know. We're going to start throwing the word allegedly around a lot now. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> they could still, I don't know, take down notice. Not that we make any money off these things, but no. you know. Well, we it's, don't. So, inc saying. Incidentally, no, I've been putting is. these up so far that it's free if you guys want to grab images or whatever, and uh, I'll go with the best friends thing of don't make us look like Nazis, and you're cool. <laughs> the word exhaust, however, is copyright of Adventuria, the card role, uh, role playing game. It is? Okay. Yes. Copyright of the word exhaust? Yes. For, for the, In for this the, context. And, yes. For the game terminology. Huh. Yep. It's like, man, I'm, I'm exhausted. That'll that. be five bucks, Well, please. I was surprised that Magic the Gathering <laughs> Oh, no, I, I agree. Well, did you see Gene Simmons right now? What's the trademark this? Yeah. Trademark yeah, what? Yeah. Trade the, the horns, horns up. The, devil horns. The, oh. yeah. the devil horns? Yeah. I thought this was sign language for rock on. It is. Or I love you too, or something like that. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. So, Something yeah. like that. That's kind of stupid, actually. Then. Well, it is Gene Simmons. Well, yeah, he's a very smart guy, but that's just stupid. I know stupid. he is, but do you realize the goodwill you're killing yeah. just by doing that? Yeah. <laughs> he always was a kind of, kind of a from what I've seen, like, Businessman? make that money, but don't really think about the consequences immediately. He's kind of a dick. Yeah. So you're tapping three all together and yeah. getting one out. Sorry, so what I did was... Yes. I, exhausting. <laughs> Thank you. I exhausted one. Quick edit. Rob, you're strength, exhausting. <laughs> and I dropped my... Astronaut. I dropped one health to gain three more, so I have six. 
Alright. So I played leggings for five, and I made an attack for one, and I rolled less than stellar. So, my turn's done. Alright, and this goes to your discard. discard. Uh, what I got so you've done? gone. Who's yes. next? Me, I guess. Alrighty. Sure. So I will go again. We might as well just go cards? in the same order. Yeah, you do yeah, I cards. do two, Yeah, I do two cards. <clears throat> okay, so, recap. You have uh, five cost Ignis Spherio. You have three cost Wrath of Elements. And then you have two cost Invocation Minor that just does seven damage. And zero cost, real quick one, that uh, play this card, the relevant attack modifier becomes the same as your magic attribute. So that might be good. What was like, that? Oh. So that, oh. like, if... Now I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna drop the, the five cost whatever in my endurance pile. Okay, Because well, I don't think I'm gonna get that out fast enough to do not anything. And then, uh... Well, there's two other cards, so... Yeah. Uh, one cost... If you roll an 18 or 19 on a magic test or magic attack, you may decide to re-roll the die or draw a card. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. That's a great one. And then a zero cost interrupt uh, arcane medication. Lose one life to gain plus two endurance until the end of the turn. So you've got... So you can... So I have three out and... Uh, okay, I know what I'm doing then. You have two You have, you have two endurance right now. Oh, so, oh, right. So I'm going to play the card that gives me the two extra endurance. Okay. That'll give me four, or no, five, and then I'm going to... Four, you only have you only have two endurance cards out right now. I should have three, if I just if I put the five thing in there. Oh, you okay, you're putting that down? Yes, okay, I'm putting so. that down, because I don't think I'll use it anytime soon. All right, so three, and Especially if, four, you re, five. If, you re, if you renew your cards at the end of the next battle, or the, the yeah. next battle, there's no point in trying to get that out right now. Yeah, okay. So, so that gives me five endurance, right? Yes. So I'm going to play the one permanent spell, the... The D6 plus 3, I think it is. The Wrath Master of elements. of elements or something. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to play that. That'll give me 3 Endurance, and then I'll give me 2 left. Here's, so, a quick, here's a quick thought. If you actually put down 2 cards, <laughs> say Wrath of Elements and 1 other, you would have enough to put down Ignis Furio and attack with it. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so dropping Wrath of Elements is an Endurance, and dropping 1 other. And what else have I got there? Invocation Minor, or in my case, Animatio play this before melee or ranged attack, and the attack trap attribute becomes the same as your magic attribute, which is 14. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. Yeah. I'll drop that one in. Alright, so you get So now four, I have six endurance. Six. So I played, played the thing that gives me three, and then how much does it cost to cast the spell? Ignis Furio is one. Or the, no, the arcane, the, the one that gives you extra endurance. Yes. No, the... Oh. Oh, Invocation Minor. No, the master element thing. Wait, so, sorry, I said, um, you wanted to drop the Ignisphereo, but I pointed out that if you put down an extra card, you could actually have enough endurance to, uh, use Ignisphereo and attack with it this turn. Which one's Ignisphereo? The D6 plus 5. Oh, I, oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that then. Okay. So then, you get to attack... Uh, roll your d20. Ah. Roll good. Eight. You made it. I made it. So that's so d6. D6 plus five. That's I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the guy that stole my staff good. again, and hopefully go high because that might murder his ass. Four. Four. That's nine damage. So eight damage on him. Eight damage will bring him from six to fourteen, which will kill him. Yes. You get your quarterstaff back. Ha ha! Quarterstaff back. And the bandit thief is no more. Ha ha! I murdered his ass. All right, your turn. Now, before somebody else goes, it's probably incidental because it's only a point. But uh, can you poison someone else's weapon? Like if I say, "Hey, yes. Rob, I want to poison yours." You can. Okay. I do a 1d6 one at attack. Is there any, like, like, do you a heavier hitter that I might want to poison your weapon? Uh, not yet. Okay. Right now I have a 16 to hit, but I only do a d6 right now. So I, I can hit easy, but I don't do a lot of damage. Okay, so we're all about on equal footing there. I just wanted to find out quick before a really heavy hitter that could kill somebody outright goes. So. Okay. I know that by the time I get my weapons up, these guys are probably going to be dead. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't start out with any weapons. Well, bad Over shuffle probably, but yeah. Yeah. I've been shuffling for a while, so it was a good shuffle. Just not the good I want. <laughs> Add three to my attack. So now I have 16. All right. All right. And I can still make one attack. Or no. Yeah, 
got one that can make an attack. Go for it. Alright. Who are you attacking? The guy on your left. Alright. Seven. And it's under 13, so. Success. Number two. Yeah. Alright. He has, uh, has defense of three. So he takes none. Yep. Don't worry, guys. Next round. Alright, Morris. I'll be burning it. Now, if you poison my weapon, does the weapon have to be out before he poisons it? Or is he just giving me the ability to have a poison? I, the poison has to be out, and he can move it over to your weapon. Wow. Or, and then... Yes, I've got a... And it basically and activates once per out. round. So 1d6 plus 5 would become 1d6 plus 6. But... It would be only for that weapon on your attacks okay. if you applied it that way. Okay. So at this point, I will weep openly for my mother, who is <laughs> dead probably, and her late husband, who I never even met, but left me a kingdom. Well, kingdom's a little, a little, a little grandiose. Yeah. It's more accurate. You need to make up your mind, sir. You've got to Playboy Mansion. Oh no, it's a hovel. Make up your mind. Well, think big. A hovel mansion. Is, yeah, you, you a mansion with big. a hovel in the back. That's with a hovel in the back. Yeah, <laughs> the mother-in-law hovel. <laughs> okay. So what? It's the guest house. <laughs> what I'm thinking the here. The guest hovel. There we go. Can I set down two more cards and go attack, 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 attack? That's crazy. You can't. Do you that. can only make three at maximum attacks. Okay. One of each type. For your character, you don't have magic, so it would be a maximum of two. One melee, one ranged each round. Okay. So I don't have a bow out, but I will keep oh, those cards remember, down Mike, just you in have case. a token that will give you one um, endurance <clears throat> one time. Yep. Oh, yeah, I might want to use that, huh? Yeah. Come to think of it. Do okay. well if I need to use it. I forgot about the token, actually. Thank you. Oh. Actually, that'll work out perfectly. So I'm going to turn... Three, which will activate that card and add three to attack. I believe, if I know what I'm doing here. And uh, then I'll attack him with the last card. Go for it. Alrighty. And that is a success. Okay. So who are you shaving? Uh, they both look about the same right now, I imagine, right? Absolutely. Okay. So I'll take the one on the left is what we usually do when we're gaming at home. All right. Yeah, we always go left. <laughs> so five. He reduces it by three and only takes two. Yeah. Armor. So their turn? Bitch. Their turn. So the one that is injured... Uh, begins attacking ferociously uh, a hero of your choice. You get to uh, decide as a group. You raised your hand. Sure. He, well, you got the armor going. Right? I got the armor. You've got armor, right. too, so we'll keep that in mind for the next guy, maybe. Yeah. So uh, he deals eight points of damage to you. I block four. And so you can dodge before you even need to block four. Oh, yeah. If you dodge, you take five. half, and then... Huh? We got to roll below a five? Yep. A five or below. So a, a thirteen slash. Oh, let me get my card out. Really, <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So that's a dodge. Alrighty. And it goes from eight to four. <laughs> and then you can use the armor to block four, four, which would take Awesome. Woo. All right. We're not above manipulating dice rolls to get. Not what we manipulating. Want. It was obviously. It was all in the. It was it's all in the cards and the, the luck. Card. Yeah. It's canted on the card. Oh no, it's stuck on my... It's stuck on the rubber band. Oh! oh. Well, the trick is... Oh, let's get the... Oh! oh it's still no. a two. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright. <laughs> and the second one... Uh, will also attack a hero of your choice. I'll take the <laughs> shot. You'll take the shot? Alright, so he deals seven damage to you. You may dodge. Did you? No. So I'll get rid of three. All right, so three goes to four. Uh, rather, seven goes to four. Yeah. And it is you hear uh, hooting and hollering of 
uh, cries for help off in the distance as uh, one of those bandit thieves got away, and, and there seems to be more on like the way. My mom. Uh-oh. So. As what do you do? Safe, what do we do? Two mean highwaymen still in <laughs> battle. Drive I think we should murder the mean highwaymen. And your mom is Go up for there, like, like Mel Gibson on the. Is it back to our turn again? Max? I think it's your turn, Doug. Yep. Since you're going first. <laughs> Complete within leather gimp gear. <laughs> Probably ought to draw. I think mom was wearing that before. I'm at it. I'm going to draw two more cards. Okay. This will be turn six as well. So before we uh, do anything. Uh, which will just interrupt your turn. We draw Ooh. an event card. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> One, two, so three. we drew Attack of the Crows, which is a Damn forest it. event. A wall of fluttering darkness descends on you at a frightening pace. You are surrounded by ashen wings, black, unblinking eyes, and sharp beaks. A swarm of carrion crows, carrying the stink of the grave, is trying to feast on you. You are attacked by a swarm of carrion crows. Each hero, hero who fails at a survival roll oh, loses up. five life points. Oh, damn. Note that if you use a, a fate point, you can re-roll uh, checks of any sort. Okay, I might have to think about that. Okay, well, I'm going to go, depending on how bad I get. Fourteen. That's probably not good enough You did me. not make it. Eh, screw it. I'll just take the five. All right. So you're down to 30 now, right? Yep. Took 10 total. Yep. Mm. I don't feel bad, Mike. I'm down to 29. Damn. Why am I getting high numbers all of a sudden? <laughs> Why did I get this thing passed? Because you're playing a game, you need low numbers. <laughs> all right, I need to go before Mora. Wait. You usually go before Mora. Yeah. Well, I know, but I was thinking because I want to put the weapon out, then attack, but he wants to poison my weapon. No. But he can't poison a weapon that's not there. We can go into whatever order we choose. It's just, you know what I mean? But you don't have the weapon out. He needs yeah. poison and then you need to attack. So either you're going to have to wait until it's next turn. Next turn. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so. No. No. So I have six endurance out now. Well, actually. <laughs> let's do that. So I have five. Actually. I have five, so three, four, five. Can I ask you about uh, how much time you have free? Um, so that I can pace? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much up in the air, I guess. So yeah. Rob's uh, the only Rob one has to leave at noon. That well, other I did, were... but they actually gave me a token because they weren't supposed to charge for it. So if I don't end up there, I don't lose any money. Everybody wave hi to Eric there in the background. What's that? Hi. Hi, Eric. <laughs> okay. Princess wave. I'm very good at that. <laughs> All right. I think I was a princess right. in another life. So, I was five in another cards, castle. Three for more armor, four for throwing daggers, and use the fifth to make an attack with a knife, because that one's just I have a plus four to possibly hit to start with. Okay. This one, I just do an extra one point of damage. Two. Awesome. So I hit, and I do. Oh, it's on the card. <laughs> I did one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one I've got. Yeah, you had to call bullshit on that one. But yeah. Oh no! My dice on my phone did not roll straight. I must shake it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, but Mike, you're up. Oh, I'm up. So uh, two I, drew, cards? I did do two. I don't know. All right, so what do we got here? So we still have Invocation Miner. Spend two points to make an attack that does seven damage. Fit and Fixed Matrix, one point to, if you're rolling 18 or 19, it really sounded like you re-roll. Invocation Miner, like you're going to turn them into a miner or something like that. <laughs> oh, look, you're a child. What else is there? The or Chris you're going for <laughs> Uh, the one then you've got a short bow for four points. You get oh, yeah. a D six plus Sanders four, which how much does it take to get the short bow out? Four. Do you realize why? I only have four no, now, right? Up, yep. Uh, and you got this shitty card here called called the gym. So uh, yeah. shut up! That's the best card in the game. <laughs> best card ever. Best, best card for well, that's one of the best wizard ones, I think. Yeah. So four points. How much does it cost to get the gin out? Four. 
I probably want to drop a, and it costs one to use it, correct? Yeah. So, so I'm going to drop two cards in, how much does it cost to ca cast my whatever that other spell? Your normal spell, spell is one. So if you No, drop, what's that big that big one I had last it's time? It's still oh, one. Ignis, 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 yeah, you got one. Oh, it's still one? Okay. Yeah. So, okay, I'm gonna drop two in, into the endurance pile. So probably the short. Draw bow. the short bow, and then fire the so short bow an and the spell what is the on one of those bastards. Because the short bow does a lot of damage. D6 plus well, four. Of them. Wait, whoa, whoa! Act the short bow into your endurance pool, or do you, so you want to? Oh, I want to put it out. Equip, okay. Pull the equipment out. So Depending on. Oh, okay. Because it's a permanent one. Yeah, you you got to roll under an eight to use it though. I know. Okay. But it's still, it's and still a chance to dice, get an extra D6 yeah. plus 4. So no matter what, I got, I have two actions I get. In this packet alone, two, which is the base I got, set, you So what spell do I have? Alright, so one, you have Ign Ignisferio, which, okay, okay oh, if you put the short bow out, you'll have to tap so, all four um, of your endurance. What's the estimated release right. So you'll, uh, in order to do Jericon, anything, you'll need to also spend more into your endurance pool. Well, I was going to. Oh, okay. That's why I said I wanted to put those other. Are you guys going to support again next oh, year? Oh, I have a gin. I'm what else did I have? The fixed matrix, here. which eighteen or nineteen re-roll, next year, which be in the first look room. And the invocation right. minor, which That's what I mean, does seven damage yep. for and we'll two points of endurance. We'll be, uh, playing Drop both of those in the endurance pool, actually. Really? Yeah. With okay. okay. So now I got six endurance. Uh, we'll be playing yeah. all of that stuff. Now I have. Published. I spent four, so I have two more. I can short bow. And I can yeah, cast my normal spell. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, which, how much does my normal spell do damage? Uh, D6 plus 5. Okay. I thought you were going to get the, so the gin out instead of the short bow. Like, how much does the gin cost to get out? That Same as the short bow. Oh, get the gin out instead then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Randomness for books for everywhere. A couple years ago, I did buy. But the short bow does more damage, that's the only thing. Okay, D6 so plus 4, but they I'm going to try to cast my D6 plus 5 spell. Okay. Alright. That'll be the first thing. Four, you make it. Make that. So you do a D six plus four plus five. Ten. So that's ten on one of those armored bastards. Minus three for or yeah. Yep, so that's seven on him. And then I'm going to use my gin and try to get another little bit of damage on him. I don't think him. you have to roll that one, do you? Yeah, it's a magic test. Oh, okay, you still have to roll. I still have magic. to roll under the magic, yeah. Okay. It's just a test rather than an attack. Thirteen, just make it. So I and another D six, and this is not blocked by armor. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Oh, ooh, see, that's even better. Uh huh. Another two. So you did nine. Ah. That's Suck. Eleven out of twelve. Oh, almost. Okay. Suck magic. Um, no. <laughs> I don't care what kind of magic wand you have. I'm not touching him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's a swirly right, color. Anyone one. else? He said I could I have think... all I wanted. All I had to do was suck it out of that. This is just me and Doug went right. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I read your munchie card. Can you go in the dark and a raid? Okay. Alright, we're looking at six, which five gives me a bastard sword, which does one W6 plus five. Yo, why is it? Is that just a misprint? What is that one D6? Is that one w, w is uh, the version of D. Uh, and because it is... Are you really re redefining the alphabet rather than say you just hit the wrong <laughs> key on that? No, the the German word for dice is... Dark Ages is the German game. <laughs> yes. Okay. 13, which is under what I needed because I needed 16. So that hits. Okay. Oh no, it's on a thing. Alright. So, <laughs> so that's 6. Oh no, it's on the table. Yeah. Oh no, it's on the table. Flip the table. <laughs> All right, so at six, he's got three, so he's down. So three, he is three. dead if you attack the one yeah. infantry. All right, he's he's gone. Okay. That'll teach you for striking me last time, right, Ron? That's right. How dare he? How oh, how dare he attack the air? All right, and there is one left. Have you gone yet? No. So right. let's go ahead and whack him. him. Yeah. Whack them all. Remember to save one point to poison my weapon. Mm. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that here, because okay. there's no real other action that I should take yet. Alright, finally something low. So, that should hit. And if I figure out where the D6 got to. Ah. 
Nice. Six. Oh no, it's on a card. <laughs> no, <laughs> not that time. All right. Oh, that's so card. what is the total? Six. Yeah. All right. So he takes five, uh, three. So six minus three. Yeah. Three for armor, I am assuming. Yes. And do you have anything else? Not at this moment. I thought you were going to place my weapon. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, can, I forgot that I could take that action too. Yes, so poison your weapon. Put that with your deck, but don't lose it for him here at the end of the game. <laughs> okay, so do we, you guys have an estimated price yet? Uh, yes. However, I would you're have not to allowed ask. To, yeah, you're not allowed to say. I would have That's to completely ask. cool. Yeah. I just wanted to ask if you had an idea. I would estimate it between... We uh, have like three viewers, nobody would see it. Between... I know, I know. Morris, why did you cut away? Why are we looking at you dressed up like a fake lawyer in your sound booth again? Look, Mike was really cool to us the whole trip, and Rob pressured him to give us a price, which may or may not have been correct. He gave us something within a range. But even so, I just thought it best if we edit this part out, because Ulysses Spiel has not officially announced a price yet, and we don't want to get Mike in trouble for telling us something that could be wrong. So, they'll announce it at Gen Con when the game is officially released. It will be up on the Ulysses Spiel US website. You can wait until then, alright? I'm sure we'll talk about it on the podcast later too. Deal with it. Gotcha. It's probably oh, that's guess. not bad at all then. Yep. It's not super expensive. Right. That's cool. I like cheap. <laughs> all right. Especially cheap that I like. And I'm going to leave that one go, guys. Mm. Well, you're cheap. Okay. So, you know, that's why I like you so much. So, $10 he goes. Taco Bell. And that hooting and hollering for help that you heard, uh, off in the distance from the bandit thief that escaped, uh, comes back, and he brings help. Of course he does. And you see a big, huge man, the bandit leader, oh. point at you, the air, and say... The largest, of your, the largest of your attackers barks his orders from the other side of the river. Go get them! And you know the one who has to die. He points one of his gout-ridden fingers at the air. Gout-ridden, man. His name is Gripbeard Goutgrove. Yes. That's his real And name. with him, yeah. which wow. is turn five, he also brings a new henchman. <laughs> Picked at random, it looks like, so... We're going to have another barmaid. <laughs> ah, it's the boxing barmaid. Yes. Nice. Oh, Ooh, nice. baby. All right. So the, the Bucanian Beachcomber uh, is Bucanian. a pirate, a bandit that somehow is with the, these uh, men. Has 15 life points, a defensive wow. one, and gets one action. The uh, Grip Beard Galpro, the leader, however... Much has a number of life points equal to the number of players times five. So one, two, three, four. That's what I count. That means 20 hit points, 20 life points. Okay. Uh, he's got a dodge this time. He's got a dodge of six. Oof. And defensive two. And he has a number of actions per round equal to the number of players. I know. So That's he super four handy actions. that all his stats are scalable for you know what you have. Yeah, they don't I, even I have to like think that, it because it makes that you know makes That's smart. Because like you as a Mike as a DM typically has to beef it up for us, so yeah. it's like here it'll do it for him automatically. Yep. Automatically build into the rules. And That's kind of cool. Yeah. Ways to make the game even more difficult is by changing the time scale, and we have a time scale easy, moderate, <laughs> difficult, or legendary. Oh. And, is that uh, on this? Or yes. Is that... We're currently playing on the time scale easy until it gets too easy. And, and then, then I'm going to bump it up to moderate or yeah. normal. All right. Okay. Cool. So if we'd have killed all those guys, you would have like, oh, wait, boop. Yep. Jumped it up. If you guys killed it within the first couple rounds, I would have bumped it up to normal. Gotcha. Yeah, that'd be tough to get it out right. that fast. But so yeah. the mean highwayman will act first. Is there a free order for this? What? Is there a pre-order for this? I believe it, uh, the Kickstarter has closed. Okay. I oh, didn't know if there was a pre-order after the Kickstarter or not. So, 
All the information that you can find, I can ask about and provide to you after the session is over, if you'd like. Yeah, that would be good for the yeah. viewers. Yeah. All, three of us. <laughs> all right. The all viewers, which are really us. Yeah. Us <laughs> and Redneck. Us oh, yeah, plus and Redneck. redneck. Yeah. So I rolled a 20 on his uh, action, and that means he is running away. If all leaders have been defeated, he remove this card from combat. However, there is a leader in combat. So it says, otherwise, nothing happens. So he deal does nothing right now. So instead of running away, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything, because he's too scared to run away now. Because his leader would kick his ass later. Oh, yeah, definitely. Does Grumpy make butt pants? Cryptic. And then we have <laughs> the Bucanian Beachcomber, right? <laughs> and she rolled a 16, which means she shouts a pirate curse as she runs up into combat. It seems slightly garbled due to the white mask she has on her face. Why is it running off? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yep, no money going from so this So, his, <laughs> <laughs> his turn. Well, right. Grip your gout rules. Uh, first action... Uh, he does nothing. He spurs on his fellow warriors and points toward the air. Second action. He rolled a seven, which means he'll make a ranged attack. And the air suffers 1d6 plus 2 damage. Unless I dodge. If the attack causes her to lose life points, she must discard one card of her choice from her hand. Ooh. So you may yeah. dodge. Yeah, I dodge like a motherfucker. I do not dodge. So First time I did except one, but then I rolled. I rolled seven to you. You may reduce it with armor if I deal any life points. You gotta choose one card from your hand and discard it. Huh. I got one card in hand. I'm still hungry. Alright, so you've gotten. He got rid of your short bow. Action three. Wait, so it's a, yeah, it's, it's seven damage? It's seven, yes. Well, minus your armor. Well, that's still three now. So that's yep. still four. I he does it again. He, uh, you suffer another attack. Oh, jeez. For seven of, more. At least you're out of cards in your hand. And, yeah, uh, that's wait. a great thing. <laughs> well, you can't, well, you can't take Action any four. cards you don't have. He makes a melee attack. The hero with the most endurance cards suffers 1d6 plus 2. You bastards! Oh, Probably me. Uh, I have six. I six. also have six. All right, so you I've get already to taken choose. a shit ton of damage, Mike. I'm down to I will 18. take the damage. All right, you will eight. take the damage. Because I'm going to light his ass up next round. <laughs> All right, so it's 1d6 plus 2. All right, that is 5 I, points of damage. I can dodge. dodge, right? Yeah. Which, yeah, probably not, unless I roll really, really well. Nope. Yep. All right. Do so I take how much? Or you you take 5. 5 damage. Mm -hmm. So I'm down so to 25. Oh, no. 25, yes. I'm going to light him up this round. All I right. think we should murder him first. That's all I'm saying. Because he seems pretty dangerous. So here's a cool thing about him. He says, The leader can only be attacked when there are fewer henchmen in play than heroes. However, there are only two henchmen in play right now. So he can be attacked? So he can be attacked. Thank God. So is it my turn then? It is. Alrighty, drop two cards and let's see what we... Yeah! Fuck! Something nice. Yeah, if I had nine endurance. Is there any way how to much, how much endurance do you have? I have five. I can oh. make it six. What's how you make it six? I got. I can blow another card. Oh, you can drop a card into your yeah. endurance pool. Anyone got anything where they can give me some extra endurance? No, because it's a. Fucking 2d6 plus 6 weapon. Holy shit, balls. What the hell is that? That's awesome. Ox herd. It, well, it's a giant three balled morning star. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's cool, actually. Yeah. Oh, because I don't know if I can help you at all. But I think I could. I can burn my chip if I give him endurance. Can I give him endurance if I burn my chip? There's only one point. Uh, you may. Okay, that's why. Well, I'm just trying to figure out if I can get you any more. That's yeah, the only way so I, I can figure get out. Up to six. I need nine. I need another three. Ah, shit. Can I, like, take those and turn them into endurance? Uh, still. No. Alright. Yeah. Just hold. Just do your normal attack and hold on to it and keep building your stuff up until maybe. Because he's probably going to be around. You Double know what three. I mean? Alrighty. 
Because he, he has two armor, right, you said? Yes, he has two armor and a six dodge. Dodge. So he actually gets to dodge our attacks. Well, six dodge isn't that great, but better than mine. But The other thing is I do... I can keep building up my endurance. I got five now. Next round would be six, seven. Next round would be eight, nine. I don't know if it's even worth waiting for it, honestly, at this point. Good, save it. Well, save, you know, drop one in your endurance, but save it and keep saving it until you think you can't, you know what I mean? All right. And you get to the point where, hey, this is better than that, then drop it. You know what I mean? That's what I'd do. All right. Then, okay. My turn. Okay. So, I'll burn two endurance, or I'll exhaust two endurance, and I'll throw daggers, and I'll stab them with a knife. So I roll a 13, so I hit with the knife, and I do a D6 for Trivana. So... Who are you was, attacking? I was going for... Big guy. Uh, big ugly, weren't you? Alright. Yeah. Right. I don't really have and the... And you succeeded? I don't really have the werewolf. Yes. You seem to attack, but I don't know what you roll for damage, so... Yeah, I, I succeeded on my dodge. Okay. Suck it. Minimum one still, isn't it? Oh, but the, nope. but the okay. because of defense, minimum is zero. All right. Then yeah, the, the defense will actually prevent damage. The dog actually halves it. Ooh. All right. So throwing daggers. I do not dodge. <laughs> and you deal no damage. All right. All right. <laughs> All righty. No, Don't worry. I'm gonna like light your them. turn. Yeah. I'm gonna light them up. Okay. I need to draw cards. Okay. One. Two. Okay, and then your other card you yep. still have is the short bow. Uh, disintegrate us again, actually. And Invocatio Major. This attack does 12, but it costs a 4 mana, 4 endurance exhaustion. Does 12 total? Yeah, you have 6. So honestly, you have enough to cast the 12, make your Jin attack, and make your... Uh, Ignisferio attack all at once. And I can use my staff too to whack. Uh, if you burn the chip, you got six. Yeah. So four for the invocation major, one for the chip. I won't. Chin, bur- one I won't. The- I won't burn the staff unless I have to. But yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Okay, I'm gonna do the gin. I'm gonna do the. I'll do the twelve one, I suppose. Okay. Might as well drop that out there. Okay. Spend that the counts full- as a magical attack. Yeah, I know. Uh, so you can't do the Ignisferio. Too. But I could do the twelve one, the and then staff. I can do the. Quarter st- I don't know, but I can do the gin too because it's a it's yeah it's a mat- it, and it yeah, goes you through can all do, the damage. You so. can't do Ignisferio, but you can do the Ig- Invocation Major, the Core Staff, and the gin. Okay, we'll do it that way then. Okay. Instead of I won't even drop any endurance at this point. I'll just save what I have. Did we all have a badass like nine cost weapon? Uh, I think everybody has a big one. You know, some everyone sort of. has something huge. Where's, where's but the? Oh, I believe they first. only one with a nine cost weapon. Okay. I'm going to try to gin so the attack first, I suppose. You have things that he does. So would that be my big weapon then? You got a 13. Probably and so I passed the gin. Yes. Yes. So I, I need a D6. Yes. Smaller, I Somebody, what did D6 go? Okay. Four. Four from the gin. All right. Which so I do believe gets... Huh? Yeah, the big guy. Yep. The nice. big guy. That's why That's why what I decided to do that. So now I'm going to try to cast the whatever spell. Yes, but not... Or do I want to try to... No, I'm okay. going to try to do the, 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 the staff attack first. Okay. I'm going to try to whack him in the face. All right, natural one. Oh, mm-hmm. ha-ha, I, I picked the right one to do. So, uh, natural ones. You get, yeah. You do not draw a card on a natural one, nor do you discard a card on natural 20s in adventure mode. What does that mean? Uh, in du- in a dual mode. Normally, on a natural one, you draw a card. Oh, okay, but okay. not in adventure mode. But right? not in adventure mode. Yep. It's just an automatic hit, yep. basically. Now I roll for damage, which is a d6 plus one. Right? Yes. So come on high. Six. So seven. This oh, or is that a five and plus one? No, you rolled a six. Oh, so that's seven. Yep. And then my, so minus two off of armor. So oh, where's dodge? Right and dodge too. Or did you, did you get to five. dodge with that? To make it nine. Okay. And then my final spell. Come on, roll good. 18. That not work. No, it's 
Well, that's you did the gin, you did the quarter staff, and then the invocation major is just twelve. What? Oh, did I. You? But I still have to roll the magic test to do it. Yes. Really? Ouch! So you missed that one. Yeah. Oh shit! Really? So that goes into the discard. Well, I still hit him twice. However, it yeah. was a magical attack, so you get the big point because you missed. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Really? Whatever that's you miss, you get a big point. I, if with I one, did with not make that clear, I apologize. Will we miss an attack? Yes. Only attacks, though. Didn't realize that. No, I didn't do that. Yeah, we, we missed that part. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Was that the first attack I missed? I, first one I missed If was. anyone has claims to uh, missing attacks... I think Morris missed with one. Yeah, I think yeah, it's I two of my absolute so positive. I, I know you missed once, Morris, but I... Okay. So you probably have a faint point, too. Okay. That means I have two. I better start so spending them. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, who's next? I think that would be Rob, right? After me, usually, anyways. I'm just not sure. There might be something in here that needs to seven. It's a possibility. Add another to my attack. So I'm this one an 18 or a 19 or a 20. Okay. Fifteen. Yep. Wow, so he's, he's fifteen points of damage out of his twenty so far. He's three quarters dead, maybe. Alright, so that's me. Morris. Morris, finish his ass off. <laughs> okay, so I am going to get rid of this card because it's not gonna be much use to me. I am going to turn three. Pull out my rapier. I'm gonna attack with it. All right, go ahead and make your attack. Ah! Can you, you re-roll so die? A success. All right, good. <laughs> Even better that I brought that card out. So, 15 on him. Uh, he'll attempt to dodge. He does dodge. Hmm. So go ahead and roll your damage. So, so five becomes eight. Half is four. Reduced by two is two. So he takes... Two damage to make him up to 17 out of 20. Okay. And that that is all of your actions, right? Yeah. My, my, my awesome. last one when it went through, it would need to be there. So, I'll uh, use that, the mean highwayman again. He'll do nothing but look around and hesitate. Thank uh, God. <laughs> the Buchanan beach bomber, beachcomber, uh, will attack a hero that you choose. I'm down to 18, guys. I have 25. I, I have haven't attacked at all yet. I have so. two different things that will reduce Down by take a couple. I, I'm no, only no, down no. by... I got stuff that will reduce it. All right. The damage by seven if I need to. Okay. Well, I don't like getting hit. I'm just saying I only have from our journey on me so far. Good. So I'll take it. So that is seven points of damage to you. You may dodge. You do Good not. Enough? So it's kind of nice that we can choose who it hits. Yes. Yeah. Because otherwise my has to be dead. Now. He hasn't gone yet, and right? He has not gone yet. And uh, a little bit of a thing that you might want to know. I, I think I said it before. But if the heir dies... It's over. Then yep. you are defeated. Okay, now, you called shots on me with the bandit leader. Is yes. that a tag the bandit leader can He, he uh, actually requires... Uh, so everything is determined by a d20 roll. Right. Um, and so 1 to 7 is the air suffers 1d6 plus 2 damage. If the attack causes her to lose life points, she must discard one card of her choice from her hand. Okay, but that's what I was thinking. Yep. Do you have to attack me? Yes, uh, it does, on does 1 to 7. Yes. That's what I was asking. Yeah. Okay. So if you're playing it out of the box, that is what it does. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay. So I negated all of it. Um, That's fine. Because waiting doesn't seem to make a difference. Alright. Uh, one event card is drawn. 
Oh no, more that, crows. That's gonna happen a rock before falls I use on the leader. Cryptic crab ass. And tidal waves from the river. <laughs> what? Are you serious? The water mounts up high above <laughs> you, as if Efford, god of the ocean, were personally trying to drown you. You have no chance to escape. The wall of water hits you with the force of a giant's cudgel and threatens to bury you under itself. An unnaturally large tidal wave hits you with full force. So basically a flood downstream, basically, yes. kind of thing. Uh, no, there it's is a, a thunderstorm wave. going on. It's a so it's flash flood. Okay. Um, and every hero who fails at a body control test Which side, uh, must one discard is. one of their own permanent cards <gasps> in play. That's horrible. Okay. okay. I need a 20 somewhere. I don't know. Take that one because that's served you. Okay, now, what's my body yeah, control numbers? Somebody told me that. Should be uh, top of that card. Eight. Eight, so I need to roll on her. Come on. Do me well, you bitch. I'm a thief. She's I got a decent body control. You made it. Aha! Smack talking her always makes it better. Apparently. Jeez! Alright. So two of your friends failed, and you have two fate points. Do you want to keep your fate points for later? Because you can use both of your fate points on their rolls. I got rid of daggers. We'll right. keep one at least. Morris, I'm going to spend my back. fate point and keep my stuff. Awesome. So the go ahead and re-roll. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that will succeed. All right, yes. So you keep your stuff. And you lose your daggers. Yeah. And then, um... Mr. Grip Beard Gout <laughs> Groves. You have to very carefully pronounce it. <laughs> yes. Sort of like Rip Nugget? Yes. We'll <laughs> use his uh, five action. Five or four? Five. five. Uh, four. Correct. Four. One, two, three, four. He's um, counting himself as well. Totally. Uh, <laughs> the air suffers 1d6 plus two damage. Uh, you may dodge. That one. All right, you dodge, so you take half damage. Oh, uh, there's no critical dodge where you get all of it. I uh, in dual mode. Uh, well, actually, the only person that uh, gets rid of all of it is the thief. Yeah. On his once per day special ability. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot. What, yep. what? That's what I forgot. You what? can shuffle two cards from your discard pile back into your deck. That's what it was. Yes. And then draw two cards as well. Huh. That's pretty nice. A yeah, nice thing we had found out while we were gaming yesterday, not only did I get that once per day, there's cards somewhere in my deck that I can spend to replenish it and get a second go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Each, 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 well, each, each character has its own special. Well, I can also spend endurance. Yeah, here's actually a question. So, four to you, sir. It says once you per... you have that to two. And you can reduce it with armor if you want to. If you take damage, you're going to take one card from your hand. You have no cards? I have no cards. All right. So let's take the two this time, so I might need to take three out later. All right. I'd rather take two now than... Hi. We're here for the 12 o'clock. Uh, you can talk to Tammy or Nick over there. Wow. And we will um, we will be finishing up here soon. Yeah. Uh, quick question. Yes. The once per game in the adventure mode, mm -hmm. how often is that? Is once, that per once per game. Battle like this? Once or per combat it... or once per... It's, it says once per game. Right? So, yeah. So it's so, once per the duration of the adventure act. Okay. So, got you. So if we, go, we quit today and go tomorrow, then you get a new one tomorrow. Yep. Basically until... Wait, wait, wait. You're really what, interested which in Which I would... I will say, this is the final fight of yeah. Act 1. Yeah. Okay. With uh, uh, Grip, Beard, Gout, Rose. Alright. Uh, the second attack is the same. Uh, the air suffers four if he does not dodge. Four is not so bad. I dodge again. Alright, two, and then you can reduce it if you want. Yeah. Alright, so you take none. I take plus one, which means I get a life hat. Third! <laughs> uh, Finally, it's not me. The hero with the most endurance card suffers 1d6 plus two. Okay. Count them. That's right. either Rob or me. Wait, Mike has more endurance. I will, take, so I will take the damage this time. Not, not health. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I will take seven. it. Yeah, yeah. Because I think. Wait, how many do you have, Mike? Six. We are I finishing think. here. Oh, I have seven. All right. So, like five minutes. Yes. No, I don't have Pretty close yet. to it, yeah. All right. Uh, action number three. 
is going to be more damage to the air. That's four. That's four. More damage to the air. Uh, and did we decide who took that uh, four damage I have six. the most endurance cards? Who has the most? I have six. Uh, so you guys can choose from seven. Oh, wait. I can dodge both those, though. Yes. No, not on my dodge. I knew I should have put Deathless 2 on my dodge. Go take the four at 19. I think I'm down to like eight now. All right. It is your turns. All right. Go for it, Doug. Two cards. I know what I'm doing anyway. I'm going to murder this guy if you don't. Oh. So, carousing. Uh, you spend an endurance and you gain an endurance until the end of this turn. Discard this card to draw a card. Yes. So. Alrighty. Um, so two, four, I know exactly six. what I'm doing this round. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what I'm doing Seven. this round. Mr. Escobar, because I'm almost dead. No, I'm gonna save they, your ass. <laughs> trust me, they're not. He, this dude is not gonna live to the end of this one. Well, I've already got a plan for him too. If he gets to me. If Doug doesn't murder him off, I will, and maybe as a henchman too. <laughs> so. You would murder little doggy too. Pretty much. Actually, how Toto's getting burnt. Does anybody have objection to me going first this time? I don't have an objection. No, go for it, so I'm gonna tap two. Rob, I'm going to use my healing potion on you. You're healed six points. Sweet. Back up to 14. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. It's discarded. Just in um, case, yeah. Yeah. Don't think we're going to need it, but you never know. I can only use that on myself, right? Hero or an opponent makes a damage roll. Or an attack, so it's anyone on the shield. I wish I had realized that earlier, but it depends on how bad their attacks are. So I'll keep that in mind and for later. It's a black bubble. So I can play it at any time so long as I've got the cards yep. to tap. Okay. To turn. Yep. Um, so what are you doing? Awesome. You're attacking? Yeah. yeah. So I put down to. You don't yes. actually have to. Oh, you are going to discard it? Yeah, and to I drew another card. card, which I added to Endurance Cold. Alright. So I'm just going to attack yeah. him. Go for it. Alright, next up, Mike. Me? Yeah. Well, okay. I wasn't which totally, I missed, so I got a I wasn't more, totally finished. More <laughs> <I'm> totally <laughs> finished either. I was going to roll an attack here. You succeed. So, that's what two I drew. Is this versus Gripbeard? Um, yes. Uh, Gripbeard does not dodge. All right. Reduce the damage so, by three plus two, three, we're at six. Oh, that's me. So you kill yeah. Gripbeard. Nice. Gripbeard balls. <laughs> and then good memory, take a card from your discard pile to your hand. And okay. a morale check all the goes for the rest of them. The only uh, numbers count are flight. So they seem to be standing their ground. Ah, how many's left? Oh, Chicky and uh, Chicky and me. Armor guy from the beginning. Yeah. All right. So what are you doing, Mike? All right. I'm going to burn and eat some things. All right. Do it. All right. Where's my? What do I got? Uh, you've got Ignis Spherio. You've got a core staff. You've got Kaljin. Oh, I have a. I still have a short bow in my hand. Yes. I am going to pull the short bow out and disintegrate. Okay, put the short bow down. That'll yep. be four. That gives me... Basically, I have now four attacks I can do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so hopefully I'm going to murder two, the... You have two endurance left. So you, you want to I, I, I also have two chips. Okay. Yes, yes. And I'm going to blow them so I can get my... So I can do all my attacks. Do it. So, okay. Which one is first? I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to attack the chicky because she looks like she's asking for it. All right. And I'm going to do my gin attack. Oh, wait. No, I will do... I will try the... the what's the big magic-y one? Ignis the Ignis Vero? Yes. I'm going to try the Ignis Sphere. All right. 12 to make it. And that's the... What one does that one do? D6 plus D6. 5. Plus 5? Okay. 
two, so seven. Seven damage on her, minus her armor or dodging or so whatever. So she takes six. Good. Right. All and right. All right. Then the gin? Yeah, I'm going to hit. Yeah, I'll hit the gin with her. That was okay. Try the gin. <laughs> the, the highwayman has three armor, so just FYI. Oh, no. I, okay, no, I will, I will try to short bow her then. How's that? Okay. Okay. Make it. Six. All right, that's a D6 plus four. Okay. Hopefully that'll murder her. Come on, six. Five. Five, so, so that's nine, nine minus eight. one, which nine. is eight. eight. So eight will, um, eight that, eight eight will make her... Will that skewer her? All right. Yeah. Now, gin on armor guy. One. All right. I'll say that's... Jen will go through. At this point, you wreck their day, and they, if you want to, you can kill them easily. If not, they are running. Okay. Kill them easily. <laughs> you kill them easily. And thus is the conclusion. Heavily breathing, you look around you. The ground is littered with your dead enemies. You tend to your wounds and recapture your horse. Before you continue on your way, you search for your enemies for any clues. At this point, you would read so, End of it, the Adventure. You look up and realize the nightfall is at hand. You don't intend to spend another night in the wilderness of the Shadowlands. Even though the Dark Heartlands are still a ways off, you saddle your horses and ride to a nearby village. To your relief, you are greeted by friendly villagers. They don't know about the bandits who ambushed you. One of one more overnight stay until you will reach Castle Wildenstein. Curiosity and anticipation make it hard for you to sleep, but the exhausting journey weighs heavily on you, and so you soon find rest in Oren's arms. Cool. Thus ends Act One of Hildenstein. Wait, did that just end with you finding the game over? <laughs> <laughs> Seems that way. Yeah, well, you know, he was looking Orin's for Oren's arms would be his happy. To quote oh. some like it hot, hey, nobody's perfect. That was really fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, I told you. I really like that. Put all this stuff together here. Thank Hopefully sir, I, I didn't it. lose anything. Thank you for enjoying it. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. Now, is this the whole base set? Are there expansions? So, one thing is definitely, it's probably cheaper than the Pathfinder card game. Oh. The magic user, yeah, the I rogue, know. the dwarven fighter, and the elf all come in the basic... Uh, base set. Base set. Oh, shit. Man. The Blessed One cool. and the Shield Maiden are both expansions. And you can play with the core four pretty okay. easily. Um, and then the expansions will not just be like the deck. It's more or less going to be a lot of uh, presenting you with some modules so that you can play the adventure mode in different ways. Oh, okay. And it will give uh, new adventure uh, module cards as well. Huh, cool. Okay. The theme music used for this podcast, Orc March by Snowflake, featuring Wolf Sebastian and Spinning Merkaba, is available from CC Mixter under the Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 license. You can find it at dig.ccmixter.org. Hey kids, did you make it through all of that episode too? Good, I'm glad. Now here's what you need to do. Email some questions to Mike at Volantrix at gmail.com. That's Volantrix, spelled V-A-L-A-N-T-R-I-X. You know, like, hit us with something, I don't know, like, um... Oh, if you could have a superpower, like, and you only get one, what would that superpower be? Like, I, I know... A lot of people would fly or levitate stuff, but like I'd go with pyrokinesis, because then you can set things on fire, but like you don't even have to get too close. So, like, there's things and and people that I'd just be like, ha 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 ha. 
Burn, you fools. Burn while I stand over here and enjoy my plausible deniability. Ha <laughs> ha.